Collecting safety thermometer data is important but can be time consuming. At Halo, we have reduced the time and effort needed to collect vital data by developing a range of safety thermometer apps available for iOS and Android operating systems. Today, we'll be looking at the classic app for iOS on an iPad. But the process is very similar for the other thermometers, which include medication, mental health, maternity, and the children and young people's services. To install the app, you first need to set up an account on the Safety Thermometer website at www.safetythermometer.nhs.uk. You must also be registered to submit data for your organisation. If you are not registered, please email info.safetythermometer at nhs.net. Once on the website, follow the on-screen instructions to create your account. You should receive a confirmation email which you will need to activate your new account. If this email doesn't come through within a few minutes, check your junk folder. The safety thermometer apps can be downloaded for both Android and iOS devices, and this is done via the safety thermometer website. Click the classic tab along the top bar of the website and select the version that works on your device. There's also the option to read the user guide located underneath the download options. You may want to screenshot this page for future reference. Click install once the pop-up box appears. You can now close the website and after a few short moments, the app should appear on your device. If you get a message asking you to trust the developer, select Trust. For iOS 9 and above, you may need to open the settings menu and go into General, Device Management, and select the app, and then click Trust. Once the app is installed on your device, you need to complete an initial setup. This only needs to be done once per device, and it ensures that all your data is assigned to the correct organisation. Full guidance for this step is available on the website. You must enter an activation key from the website into your device by going to the classic app on the sidebar, clicking My Devices, and your API key will be there at the bottom of that list. If there's no API key visible, check that you are registered to submit data through your organisation. Once the key is entered, click Setup. Now you are ready to collect data. Select the ward or team and the date of collection by clicking the Change tab and selecting the appropriate entries from the drop-down menu. Then tap Begin Collection. The safety thermometer questions will pop up. If you want to add any additional notes, you can type these in the tab section at the bottom of this page. When you've answered all these questions, tap the Save icon in the top right corner of the screen. You can always go back and edit the form before submission if you make a mistake. The app will give you the choice to add additional records. Click the appropriate option. To review your data, tap the Saved tab in the top right corner of the screen. To edit the form, select Edit, again in the top right corner, and change the form. Click the I in the circle on the right of each input to find out more information on that area. You may want to familiarise yourself with the app's other features using the tabs at the bottom of the screen, which include Guidance, Analysis and General Settings. To send your new data to the website, click the Upload button. You may get a prompt on the screen reminding you to have a working internet connection. Click OK if this is the case. This is the only step of the collection process that you need internet access for. The ability to collect data without internet access is meant that the process is quick and easy. Now we'll navigate back to the website to complete the final stage in submitting your data. Please note that this step does not apply to other safety thermometers. You have to export the data from the website by clicking the Collect Data tab from the sidebar and selecting the Collection option. Click the Submission File button to generate an Excel file, which you can merge with any other safety thermometer files if you wish. Save and submit to the HSCIC as you normally would. For some organisations, this will simply involve emailing the files to your safety thermometer coordinator. If you have any issues regarding installation or use of the app, then please email info.safetythermometer at nhs.net and we'll be happy to help.